There are many beautiful nations in the world, but in this video we'll focus on Switzerland's top tourist destinations. Each place on the list is deserving of being added to your bucket list due to the undeniable immense beauty of this nation. Despite being small and landlocked, Switzerland has an extraordinary amount of natural beauty. This nation in Central Europe offers an array of magnificent landscapes with the most charming alpine communities, the clearest lakes, and grandest summits. Number 10. Zurich. Zurich is regarded as one of the world's largest financial centers despite being a relatively small city. But like Geneva, this city is much more than just merchants and wealth. The city of Zurich was established in 15 BC, and now it serves as one of the primary travel centers for the entire nation. It is a cultural wonderland with a rich history and is one of the top locations to visit in Switzerland. It feels like a city with the attitude of a small mountain village and is situated in the north of the nation. When you enter the old town area, you will experience a step back in time as you browse through the stores and cafes that lie in the winding, cobbled alleys. Without seeing Teuscher Chocolates of Switzerland or the Swiss National Museum, a trip to the city isn't complete. Their champagne truffles are enough of a reason to rank Zurich among the top tourist destinations in Switzerland. Number 9. Geneva. You might question why someone would want to visit a city known as the global hub of diplomacy, the answer is typically not to take a tour of the UN building. Geneva is a lovely city and among the best places to visit in Switzerland, however once you look past the strictly commercial area. The city, which is situated along the southern shore of its namesake lake, offers views of both the Jura and all of the Swiss mountains, including the Alps. Another famous mountain found in Switzerland, Mont Blanc, is also visible from the city and provides breathtaking vistas. With no less than 82 separate Swiss heritage monuments of major national significance, Geneva is a city steeped in history. There are numerous locations to visit and sites to see in the entire Old Town, which is a protected area. Over the years, Geneva has been home to a number of well-known people. Henry Dunat, the man who started the Red Cross and was the first person to get the Nobel Peace Prize, was none more significant. Number 8. Zermatt. Winter sports enthusiasts will find Zermatt to be an alpine paradise and the location of the Matterhorn Mountain. Nothing is impossible to accomplish while admiring the majestic Matterhorn, from cross-country skiing and snowboarding to ice skating and curling. Zermatt is among the sites in Switzerland that you simply must visit because of the nearly flawless pyramid, one of the most famous mountains in all of Europe. Along with sporting events, the main street is home to a variety of lodging options, shops, and dining establishments, offering you something to do once you've put your skis away for the day. Zermatt, which is completely car-free, has the distinction of being Europe's highest summer skiing destination. No matter what time of year it is, you may take advantage of the 360 kilometers of ski runs that are accessible by 54 different mountain railways and ski lifts. Number 7. Bern. Bern is a location that wonderfully encapsulates how wonderful Switzerland is. Simply because of its charm and history, this old town deserves a spot on your bucket list. A UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, the historic city. The Child Eater Fountain and its medieval arcades are its most notable features. Always start your vacation to Bern in the old town. Fantastic examples of medieval European architecture can be found here. The prison tower and the Heiligeist Kirch, also known as the Holy Ghost Church, are two attractions that are a must-see. The 16th-century Pfeifferbrunnen, 
Bagpiper Fountain, by Swiss sculptor Hans Jing is another attraction in the old town. Albert Einstein's former home, now a museum, is located in Bern. The physicist by chance discovered relativity here. One of the city's most popular vantage points is the beautiful 300 stairs of the Bern Tower. Visit it for expansive views of Bern and the surrounding snow-capped Swiss mountains. Number 6. Swiss National Park Did you know that Switzerland only has one national park? In addition to being one of the oldest national parks in Europe, the Swiss National Park is the only one of its kind in the Alps to hold ICUN Strict Nature Reserve designation. It easily displays how beautiful Switzerland is since it was built in 1914 on the Swiss national holiday and offers breathtaking alpine views. This is one of the nicest spots to visit in Switzerland just because of the views. The 172.3 square kilometers Western Rhetian Alps National Park in Switzerland is home to breathtaking peaks, thick woods, and azure rivers. Hiking enthusiasts will find many pathways hidden among the forest. The region's beautiful anthills and sightings of the once almost extinct bearded vulture will delight wildlife watchers. When the park reintroduced it in 1991 after being hunted to extinction, it flourished because of the protection. One of Europe's largest raptors, the Golden Eagle, can also be seen there. Marmots, elk, and chamois are a few other attractions. Number 5. Lake Lucerne and Lucerne. Skiing and other extreme sports are linked with some of Switzerland's greatest locations. The pace differs at Lake Lucerne. The leisurely population searching for water, greenery, and blooming mountain flower sceneries is the perfect audience for appreciating its beauty. Walking paths, cog railroads, and cable cars are used to connect the lake's mountainous regions. A must-do excursion is a trip to the beautiful Blue Lake which is encircled by the towering peaks of the Swiss Highlands. Embark on trips on a century-old paddle boat to take in the lake's beauty. Historic structures and medieval bridges, like Chapel Bridge that spans the River Rus, may be found in the old town of Lucerne. One of the first wooden bridges in Europe is the Chapel Bridge. The picturesque town has an unequaled fairy tale book appearance thanks to its antique churches, town plaza, and fresco facades. Mount Pilatus, with its spectacular and bleakly lonely peak, is the city's native mountain. According to lore, the isolated peak had a dragon as an inhabitant and a more sinister past. Number 4. Basel Basel is a riverboat port city that spans the Great Rhine and is home to a variety of cultures. It is the third largest city in Switzerland. In one town alone, you may take a tram across international borders. Basel has borders with both France and Germany. It is a thriving center for trade and transportation as a result. Basel's varied architectural style, which includes Gothic cathedrals and elaborate public structures, will astound visitors. Basel is an artistic city with about 40 museums. The town overwhelmingly opted to buy a few Picasso paintings in 1967. Picasso was so deeply moved by this event that he donated three of his works to the city's museums. The Art Basel event honors the city's artistically inclined population, museums, and galleries. Basel's multicultural energy makes it one of the best attractions in Switzerland. Explore Basel's cobblestone streets, peruse the wonderful food markets, and eat your fill while dining al fresco along the river to really appreciate its beauty and grandeur. This area of stunning Switzerland can be explored best by taking a stroll along the Rhine. The river view is breathtaking. Six bridges must also be crossed if you wish to travel from one side of the city to the other. While you're there, stop by one of Basil's legendary buvettes for a snack or an ice cream cone.
Number 3. St. Moritz. A billionaire has long made St. Moritz his preferred vacation destination. One of the best places to travel in Switzerland for winter sports is this glamorous alpine town. A classic vacation destination popular with the wealthy. At 1,856 meters above sea level on Upper Engadin in the Swiss mountains, St. Moritz is protected from the chilly north winds and enjoys 322 days of sunshine annually. The city was the first to offer winter travel and has twice hosted the Winter Olympics. The discovery of mineral springs in St. Moritz more than 3,000 years ago marked the beginning of the Swiss town's predisposition for tourists. The tiny Alpine settlement, which has the name of a Christian saint, welcomed numerous pilgrims who came to bathe in its curative bubbling waters. According to legend, the Pope granted absolution to any pilgrim who traveled to the mountain springs in 1519. Celebrities, families, and billionaires now flock to this picturesque area to take in the splendor of its 25 crystal-clear mountain lakes, glaciers, and woods. They also take advantage of some of the best shopping opportunities in the nation while they are there. St. Moritz is a popular destination for outdoor activities like windsurfing, hiking, sailing, and climbing. In addition, it is a well-known town for glacier skiing and equestrian riding. Number 2. Montreux. Switzerland's undiscovered jewel is Montreux. It is beautiful despite not being as popular as other Lake Geneva cities. The village, located at the foot of the Swiss Alps, enjoys an unmatched view of Lake Geneva. Along the lake's bay, a waterfront promenade is present. It has a year-round resort-like environment thanks to its elevated surroundings, which protect it from east and north winds. Beautiful bay, mulberry, fig, and almond trees may be seen around the lake's banks, as well as palm and magnolia trees. Despite being near the Alps, it is a Mediterranean paradise. One of the most prestigious vacation towns in the nation, the historic town has aristocratic origins. As a result, there are many wonderful historical places and beautiful examples of architecture. The town also plays host to a number of world-renowned events, including the International Choral Festival, the Montreux Jazz Festival, and the September Musical Concert. Freddie Mercury made Montreux his home because he loved it so much. Here was where Freddie recorded his final album at the Mountain Recording Studio used by Queen. Even a bronze statue honoring Freddie's legacy is on the town's beachfront. Tourists can go riding and trekking in Montreux both in the winter and the summer. You have to schedule a trip to Chateau de Chillon. Just a half walk hours from Montreux is one of Switzerland's most renowned historical castles. Number 1. Wenzhen. One of Switzerland's most picturesque locations is Wenzhen. This quaint Swiss alpine village in the Jungfrau region is perched on the peaks of the Lauterbrunnen Valley. The Bernese Alps, which form a wall around the Wenzhen region, are home to the highest white glaciers in the country. The mountain known as the Maiden or Jungfrau is the highest point of this particular massif. Snow-capped peaks can be seen all year long. The most celestial views you've ever seen are created by these snow-layered tips, which contrast beautifully with the valley's lush vegetation. It is simple to understand why this is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Switzerland when you consider the village's rustic charm provided by its timber cabins. The hotels in Wenzhen date from the Belle Epoque and perfectly depict the charm of the village. The 19th century's lovers and bon vivants congregated in these cozy accommodations. The grandeur that high society yearned for at the outset of the last century is still present in these old-school homes. They do, however, unmistakably exude a sense of homeliness. Wangen's exclusivity as a destination on the Wenjeralp train makes it even more magnificent. Therefore, 
Wenzhen is a town without cars and has a tranquil atmosphere. Everything in Wenzhen is within walking distance. You can find plenty of fine dining and skiing opportunities here. Other alpine adventures popular amongst the Wenzhen tourist crowd are zip lining, sledding, tobogganing, and snowshoeing. The to-go-to activity for those interested in something less hair-raising is a hike up Wenzhenalp.